popular Van Fleet Trail runs through the heart of Polk County. But many may not know the man behind the name played a major role in U.S. military history. On D-Day, he was the commander of the 8th Infantry Regiment that spearheaded the invasion force on Utah Beach. Polk County's own James Van Fleet and his troops spent months training in England for an invasion to save the world. He picked a spot on the beach that had not been very heavily defended by the Germans ahead of time. Van Fleet's grandson, Joseph McChristian Jr., reads the personal notes the general left behind on that fateful day, June 6, 1944. The section called the landing in retrospect. The ease with which the assault on Utah Beach was carried off was surprising even to the attackers. Commander Van Fleet landed well west of the bloody battle on Omaha Beach. The 21,000 soldiers of his 4th Division suffered 197 casualties. His regiment was the only one of the entire invasion force that achieved their objectives that first day. His rank shows he was a major in that picture. Memorialized at the Polk County History Center, General Van Fleet commanded in four wars and became one of the highest decorated U.S. soldiers in history. He has three distinguished service crosses, a distinguished service medal, three silver stars. Earning the respect of the nation's highest leaders. General Eisenhower called Van Fleet's battle record the best of, quote, any regimental, division, or corps commander we produced, end quote. But McChristian says his grandfather's greatness was best seen in the men he commanded. His troops loved him because he loved them, he took care of them. When he worked with his troops, he treated them as members of the team, even members of the family. Polk County's favorite son even graced the cover of Time Magazine twice for his distinguished service. Van Fleet passed away in 1992, shortly after celebrating his 100th birthday. Buried at Arlington National Cemetery, his actions on Utah Beach and his legacy as a national hero live on through a proud grandson. I'm grateful on behalf of all of us that that generation did what they did to help defend our freedoms and democracy and the things we can enjoy today thanks to them.